Today on NFL Gems, we are going to reveal the shocking story of how the shyest guy in the locker room, Justin Herbert, magically hacked his way onto his favorite childhood college and professional football teams to become the best quarterback in L.A. We are also about to share a shocking analysis on this young rising sensation, including the bombshell take on how Justin compares to two Hall of Fame legends. According to one insider that played with them, you will not want to miss that controversial take. We will also uncover many outlandish things things you didn't know about Justin Herbert and plenty that might make you like him even more than you already do or don't. You will want to stay until the end of the video if you want to see our revealing commentary on the battle for LA as we compare Justin to the reigning Super Bowl champ Matthew Stafford. You will be shockingly surprised to find out how quirky, smart, and legendary Justin Herbert can actually be. If there was one player who has embodied the term destiny throughout his football career and life, it's Justin Herbert. We are going to find out about his uncanny cerebral ability in school and the unique vision he possessed that has carved out a one-of-a-kind storybook path to greatness. Herbert was born in Eugene, Oregon on March 10, 1998 to a family of Oregon Duck fans and athletes, and we'll get to that one later. He suffered a broken leg in the third game of his junior season, complicating his recruitment process. Imagine breaking the hardest bone in your body to break, the femur. This was a bad break. Yet as a senior, he passed for 3,130 yards and 37 touchdowns and rushed for 543 yards and 10 touchdowns. However, his biggest accomplishment was probably being born in Oregon, a state with such a great football tradition. Herbert must have felt pressure from the moment that he arrived, and thankfully he seems to have handled it well, going on to have a successful high school career. But he was only a three-star recruit and ranked only number 25 in the nation's top high school quarterbacks. This is why he was supremely lucky to be recruited and offered a scholarship by the team that he had been an avid fan of and possessed season tickets to as a youngster, the Oregon Ducks. So imagine, this was Justin and his family's favorite college team. Justin Herbert's grandfather was a wide receiver for the Ducks. They had season tickets to watch their beloved hometown team play for multiple years in a row. So when Oregon came calling, Justin answered with a quick yes. They were the only Power 5 team to offer him a scholarship. Justin's brother also plays for the Ducks at tight end. And if you think the start to his college career is incredible, just wait until you hear how he got the call to the pros. Stay tuned for an even quirkier coincidence that he landed in. At Oregon, he was now a star athlete, setting records for total offensive yards and passing yards in a single game. He was an academic All-American three times and had a 4.0 GPA. His brains were as strong as his arm, and he was extremely smart, as his teachers and coaches would attest. He was an academic All-American first team nearly every year in college. He won the William V. Campbell, awarded by the National Football Foundation, to the American College football player with the best combination of academics, grades, community service, and on-field performance. It is honestly considered by many to be the academic Heisman, and nicknamed as such. But he wanted to declare for the baseball draft because football and injuries just weren't working out for him at times. In the end, he chose his love for football and went on to have the beginning of a successful career in the NFL. Herbert, at 6 feet 6 inches, 236 pounds, was selected 6th overall by the Los Angeles Chargers in the first round of the 2020 NFL Draft. He was the third quarterback selected behind Joe Burrow and Tua Tagovailoa. Herbert signed his four-year rookie contract on July 25th of 2020, worth $26.6 million. In the NFL, he is a leader by example. He doesn't yell. When he does speak, everyone listens. He doesn't need to be the loudest person in the room to get his point across. His actions speak louder than his words ever could. And that is why his teammates respect him so much. They know that when Justin speaks, it's because he really has something important to say. Justin is the quiet commander of this team, and that's why they're going to follow him all the way to the Super Bowl soon, as many experts have talked about this year. And to think he was doing this for his favorite childhood team. One amazing thing that you didn't know about Justin and the Chargers is that not only was he also a Chargers fan, he confirmed this shortly after he was drafted. And if you think he was just jiving, there is a photo circulating on the internet of a young Justin wearing a Chargers shirt. So imagine getting recruited by your favorite college team and then getting drafted by your favorite NFL team. This is what we define as living the dream. He was named a Rookie of the Year and Offensive Rookie of the Year by the Pro Football Writers of America. Herbert finished the 2020 season on a four-game winning streak with 4,336 yards passing, 31 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions. 
Justin now finds himself playing in L.A. opposite the reigning Super Bowl champ Rams and their quarterback Matthew Stafford. So please stick with us to see that comparison coming very soon. The young Chargers coach Anthony Lynn walked over to rookie quarterback and told him he was starting against the defending Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs. I think he thought I was joking, Lynn would say later. I was surprised, Herbert admitted. The game went into overtime while Justin Herbert's star was birthed. But how good is Justin really? Well, let's ask the pros. One of the most astounding takes on football was when Ryan Harris, a Notre Dame football analyst and former offensive lineman who played with Ben Roethlisberger and Peyton Manning, said that Justin Herbert is the better quarterback out of all of those guys. Ryan is not a media guy who never played football. This guy played with the greats and threw this controversial take out there. And we here at NFL Gems agree on his enormous potential, but to say that he is better than those guys at this point is stretching it. But are you guys really going to question a guy who played with Ben Roethlisberger and Peyton Manning? Justin might just be the best quarterback the Chargers ever had, and according to Ryan's projections, he might be on his way to being the best ever. We are now going to look at the battle for Los Angeles, Matthew Stafford versus Justin Herbert. But before we get into it, take some time now to go into the comments section and give us your opinion on who you think is the better quarterback and why. Now to the tape. Stafford, during a peak prime year in 2015, became the first quarterback in NFL history to complete 60% or more of his passes in all 16 games. He finished that season our clutch player of the two right now, but now let's look at Justin and the head-to-head. Justin Herbert doesn't have all the pieces around him like Matthew does. Herbert is the... So I want you to also remember that the Los Angeles Rams are the Super Bowl champs. They are clearly the better team this year and a plus 1,400 in Vegas odds compared to plus 2,000 for the Chargers. Also, if we look at Matthew and Justin's first two years of play coming into the league, for Matthew Stafford, it was 2008-2009, the stats don't compare. Justin had a far greater impact illuminated by his Offensive Rookie of the Year campaign season that he won by a wide margin of 41-9. Even though it's very early, many experts believe Herbert can go down as one of the best passers of all time. The best way to describe Herbert's insanely difficult passes against the Las Vegas Raiders was unbelievable. I mean, you had to see it to believe it. He threw three passes that were quite simply out of this world. It was an incredible display of passing ability, and it cemented Herbert's place as one of the best quarterbacks of all time. L.A. Chargers NFL Gems thinks this Gonda and built basketball courts. The program was called Courts for Kids. They were able to see the hardships up close, and Justin was admittedly out of his comfort zone. There was a war in Uganda 10 years back, and Herbert was lending his volunteer work with shovel in hand. About the experience, he said he now has a strong sense of empathy and takes less for granted. Justin is very empathetic for sure, and is planning on becoming a doctor after his playing days are over in the NFL. It's been a lifelong dream for him, and his plan is to work the rest of his life helping people. Justin Herbert might be NFL's best in L.A., but we know for sure that Justin has a bright future ahead of him. Make sure to check out more great NFL stories at NFL Gems.